This course is brought to you by Appy Pie as part of our Academy series. Hey, hello everyone. In this video, we are going to create a job application form. So if your company has openings, then you can create an online Google form in order to receive the resumes of the interested candidates. The basic necessities of the form is a description to the form, the name of the form, and it's based on your idea. After that, the questions such as name, email address, and phone number are necessary for a job application form in order to reply to the person who has applied for the job. And apart from this, if your company is offering more than one position, then you can create a question for that and the answer type for this should be a multiple choice answer and after that the optional questions that you can add is that if you are offering the jobs in a particular cities only then you can just add a question and the answer type to be a drop down answer after adding the question like that now the final thing is that to collect the resumes the resumes you can collect it it will be saved in the drive folder and the space of this uh, PDF files will be based on your drive storage. So to receive the resumes, you should add a question type and choose the answer type to be files. And you can just uh, filter the different file types that you want to receive and set the size of the file that the user uploads so it should be not greater than 10 mb or 1 mb or 100 mb as you like so you can also add more questions such as what is the experience of the person who is applying for the job and at the end you can just keep a empty box to tell her more about his experience if he has any kind of experience so in order to reduce the time I have just developed it from the template available in the Google form. So here I have a great image in the background. So I have just used this uh, template only to create the Google form for job application. Here I have just added a brief description regarding the form saying our company is offering jobs for a position of senior manager and assistant engineer. So we are interested to hire both experienced and fresh candidates. We want candidates who have excellent communication skills and interest in learning new things. You can add a very good description. So I don't say that my description is good. It's okay. And you can add more interesting description so that the person who is responsive to this form should feel that it's a really professional company that he is applying a job for. Okay. So here I have just added a question called name and in the description first and last name is mentioned and the answer type is short answer text and it is marked as required and even I have added an email and as I have done in the previous uh, video here we have just added a response validation and here we have choose the email address custom error message is chosen uh, to be enter valid email address and even this is marked as required question and finally the phone number and this is also the same as I have done previously the number and it should be between the 10 to the power of 10 to 10 to the power of 11 only it should have 10 digits okay and uh, the custom error message is please enter a valid phone number so next what we are going to add is a uh, multiple choice question so just click this one and here by default we have a multiple choice question answer type okay uh, let's add the question so I've just uh, added a question like this saying which position are you interested in and it has magically changed the answer type to be a checkbox but here I need a multiple choice question the difference between the checkbox and the multiple choice answer is that in the multiple choice answer only one answer can be selected whereas in the checkbox type answer more than one option or one answer can be selected but here as the two jobs are completely different so i will choose the answer type to be multiple choice only and here i will just type the answer type 
first one I will just type it as senior manager so apart from just adding the text for the answer you can also choose an image just click this option called add image now the different options that you are seeing are very similar to the background image that we have chosen so earlier in the basic uh, tutorials in the while we are just learning about the sitemap of the editor we have seen that we can change the background image of the form and there you have seen similar options like this you can choose any of the photo or image and you can just add it with this option of answer okay you can also add an image for the question so here if you want to add an option you have to click here if you want and to add an option named as other then click here so it will automatically add an answer to be other you need not type other again so if you are choosing to add an option then you can you should type here if you want the option to be other then just click this option called add other so here i will uh, just type it as assistant engineer okay and i will mark this to be required because it's necessary for me to know whether the person is interested to become a senior manager or assistant engineer so next question type that i am going to add uh, i want to choose the answer type here to be a file so here i want to collect the resume of the person so choose the answer type to be file upload so here you will find a message saying file will be uploaded to the form owner's google drive so it will be uploaded to my google drive and uh, he the person who is responding to this form will be required to sign in when he wants to upload the file so click on continue and uh, add the question as upload uh resume okay so here you have to check this option called allow only specific file types and now check this option called document and pdf now maximum number of files should be restricted to one and maximum file size you can set it to be 1 mb or 10 mb i want to just choose this option called 10 mb however the documents or pdfs with only single page will not be greater than 1 mb and in exceptional cases they can be more than 1 mb so in order to reduce the burden for the person who is responding to this form let us choose it to be 10 mb it's better to mention in the description so you know in the by default the description option is not available here so you have to click this more icon and here you have to click on this description option and right here in the description the file should be less than 10 MB okay so check this option saying required so after adding this question let us add another two additional questions one is where are you from so if you want people from specific areas then uh, you can use this option so I will add a question where are you from so by default magically it has been chosen an answer called short answer text i want it to be a drop down answer and in the drop down answer i want the options to be one is delhi i'm from india right and another one is either about and next option is mumbai an additional option is Pune. So I have added about four options in the drop down, and I want it to be required because I want to hire the people who are from this region only. 
and at the last we are going to add another question called how many ex how many years of experience do you have so i have just added this question and now okay you can opt this question's answer to be a number and in the by default it has opened for me the response validation and uh, the number should be between 0 to 5 i am interested in the people who are having uh, experience less than 5 years i don't want to add this option to be required and also i don't want to mention it in the description i want to just add a custom error message here saying we are interested in candidates having less experience okay i don't want to make this question required and after this let us add uh, another optional question saying tell about yourself so it's a long answer text okay and done we have just added different types of question and answers let's preview our work so before that one thing that you have to do is, is that in the file upload section I have just forgot to tell you this one so this form can accept up to 1 TB of files so I don't have 1 TB of storage or I don't have not purchase any premium plan for my Google Drive I will just restrict it to be less than 10 GB because the limited space for Google Drive for free version is 15 GB and I, I don't have any kind of premium version so I will leave it to be a 10 MB okay so done with this let's see the preview of our form just hit this button so this is our form and uh, here if you open this form with a link after publishing this form then what you should do is that you should sign in for this form as you have enabled the option to add a file the person should sign in to add a file because anonymously any person will try to add the files in your drive storage and it will uh, it can have a content which is really not recommended and hence to provide a better service google form by default enables the option to sign in for the user if he is to submit you any kind of file okay so let us try adding any kind of options here so multiple choice question you can just choose only one option here so if you select this option called add file then you can upload it from your computer from drive or any previously selected option okay and where are you from this is the drop down question that we have added so here are the different places being displayed and how many years of experience do you have if i will try to add the option called six then it will show, show the message saying we are interested in candidates having less than less experience okay if i will try to add four then it accepts that option so tell about yourself is also an optional question here here we have learned few new things such as the option to add a new file and this drop down as a type okay see you in the next video bye bye